If you're watching my videos, you might remember this place. Unfortunately, this is one of the only places where there's still snow. In a decent amount at least, so that I can drive. So I decided if the snow condition is going to be bad, well, I might as well try something different. Something to take advantage of it. Right here is a 137 inch equivalent skid and track combo. As you can see, it is much shorter than the G4 I typically built, simply because it is a shorter machine. But it didn't just stop there. I had studs installed. Unfortunately, I didn't have everything done in time for this video. So I don't have the reinforcement in top of the tunnel so the studs don't go through the plastic because the track always flops around. But a new track and a new tunnel is not the only modifications. I've also made some different running boards that are more similar to the uh, Skidoo Mog Z type running boards. And also have the wider front end. This is the typical front end so it's going to be a little unstable. But I swear this still works, especially on a shorter track. Here in the front, um, that happened because I flew about 10 feet in the air and I hit a logging trailer that was parked. So that's all the damage that was from that, so it's pretty impressive. I decided I'm just gonna leave it there and this is gonna be sort of a test mule to test that new 137 track. And here in the front, I did something extra special. Stainless steel carbides. These are also replaceable in case I need to change them over time. So this is quite an improvement over just stock skis, especially for traction and durability. So these work really well. And apart from that, this is a typical G4. Uh, it does have the aluminum motor mount just for simplicity, stiffness, and also better cooling on the motor. Snow cooler on the motor, so good stuff. Apart from that, this is a typical setup. Uh, it doesn't have any fancy electronics apart from the battery and the radio. This is a good radio. I like those. They're waterproof. And also the battery. This is a Protec RC lithium high voltage pack. So you get a little bit of extra RPMs, so a little higher top speed. My motor KV is a bit on the low side. I would like something with a higher KV, but this is gonna work. And enough talking, how about we get on the lake? Yeah, it's gonna be a little more difficult than I thought to get on a lake. I know this lake by heart. I know it's not very deep, so I'm not gonna be putting myself in any danger. I just need to get to there, where the ice is thicker. Having studs on this would make a world of difference. See, let's just do a quick acceleration here. Good thing there's a bit of snow on the ice, but still, if it had studs, it would make all the difference. Okay, so two changes I could see myself doing. One of them, change that motor to a higher KV motor so I could gain some of the top speeds I'm losing with that uh, low KV one. And two, put some studs on it, it'll make a difference. Although, I'm quite surprised the wide front end is not all that necessary on that platform. The center of gravity is quite low, so that helps it. So I think just studs and a higher KV motor I think that would make all the difference. Let's try to find some interesting terrain to ride. Are you thinking what I'm thinking here? Let's put you down there.
really like that transmitter. Oh, hold on. Got to remove the snow and ice on the lens. There we go. I really like that transmitter. It's waterproof, so you can leave it out in the elements, and you don't have to worry about just water getting into it. So really good stuff. There we go. Now, that snowmobile. Doing really good. I feel like I could also change the speed controller. This has a Sidewinder 4 in it, but I think I could make it work a little bit better with the Mamba X. Apart from that, there's a ton of ice that's just forming on top of the running boards. But that's just down to what we're driving on. You know, it's very wet stuff. So, I think in normal circumstances, normal situation, we wouldn't see that much of it. So, let's try to do a little bit more, find a different spot. I guess I sprayed my lens. I saw it a little too late. Should have come around and have a look. Would have been a great shot though if it worked. I guess you can't win them all. Pretty big hole. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure I could bring it. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Almost went through the eyes there. Well, I actually kind of did. Let's bring it home like this. Pretty sure I can do it. Well, upon a uh, second look, it appears that the little ball joint just came apart, so I might be able to just pop it back in there. Yeah, there we go. Right, back in it. Oh, but I snapped the tire rod. All right. Well, it's not too bad. Just tire rods. It's pretty simple to fix. Kind of surprised it's still going straight. So even though I lost one of my ski steering. I can sort of control it. Let's turn left. Whoa. I made a spook too soon. I think it's just backed up on the ice. Studs, man. I need studs on this. There we go. Good thing I'm not too far from the shore. There we go. All right, so overall a pretty fun adventure. Like I said, the only thing that broke is this little tie rod. And that was already there. If I would have put a titanium tie rod instead of this aluminum one, I think it would have withstood the impact. But again, I like to have a weak link. So that's why I'm doing a test video. So I can try new stuff and see how that all comes together. Love that radio. Love that little sled. Good stuff. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. You guys silly? I'm still going to send it. <laughs>